today we have protests around the world to take these protests in front of the Ugandan embassies in uh, London, Paris, Berlin, Buenos Aires, uh, US, Canada, Israel. We have different events today, all giving the same message, all calling Uganda not to uh, have the human trafficking deal with Israel. I'm going to read the letter. We will try to give the uh, High Commissioner and see whether we get any good response. Tomorrow, the state is going to update the uh, High Court of Justice in Israel. So far, Israel was arguing that it has a deal with Uganda. It feels like it needs very short time before it could uh, imprison and deport people to Uganda. Uganda is denying this agreement, but the state of Israel is arguing that they are going to have this agreement with Uganda. This is what we're going to ask. We are part of an ad hoc global alliance, unaffiliated with any organization or political party. We are here to appeal to the Ugandan government, through their official representatives, to do its part to prevent further harm to people seeking refuge in Israel. We come with a sense of urgency, as the government in Israel declared that any Eritrean or Sudanese single man who will not leave to Uganda will be detained for an indefinite period of time or forcibly deported to Uganda. Over 200 of them are detained at this moment because they refuse to leave to Uganda. While Uganda denies having such an agreement with Israel, the Israeli government claims it exists. Under Israeli law, the government can detain and forcefully deport people to Uganda only if Uganda has indeed agreed to sign an agreement that ensures Uganda will accept asylum seekers from Israel directly from detention facilities and without their consent. The secrecy surrounding these agreements is unprecedented and unlawful according to international law. Adding this to the great situation in which it puts the asylum seekers community in Israel. We have no choice other than coming here and saying loud and clear, this will not happen, it must not. Many refugees have already been transferred and reported are deep, reports are deeply disturbing. Serious questions have been raised by UNHCR, refugees, news agencies, international refugee organizations, and credible NGOs about the duress and pressure placed on refugees to live and also about their treatment once they arrive in Uganda and their transfer and movement to other countries include deeply disturbing reports of extortion, transfer to zones of conflict and even slavery in Libya. There appear to be few, if any, safeguards in place and there is virtually no international precedent for a country deporting refugees to a third country under such secretive and questionable conditions. The stark choice between deportation of pre or prison is unfair and unjust. It is an extremely vulnerable population. We are appealing to your government to clarify that no matter what, you will not agree to receive Eritrean or Sudanese from the Israeli detention center <coughs> or without their full and free consent. We thank you for your consideration and would welcome an opportunity to engage further with you or with representatives of your government. And we signed each campaign, signed their own. We signed Uganda Say No campaign, London branch, on behalf of asylum seekers in Israel and around the world. This is the letter we're going to try to give the embassy. And hopefully the High Commissioner will read it and respond to us. Woo! You, okay.
Yes, we from the with, with the protesters outside. We have a letter that we would like to give the high commissioner. I'm just filming the video. All right.